I'm Monique Sultani, and I want you to join me on my journey with the purpose of bringing people together. You see where we're going with that? I feel you, girl. We are in a working winery. By breaking bread. Oh, we're using like a lot of European techniques, but with Mexican flavors. Opening a bottle. This is Zinfandel off this vineyard right here. My grandfather came here in the 1940s uh, during the Bracero program. And connecting through culture. Viano, Viano. This is Wine O TV. <laughs> and yeah. Vamanos, there she got it. <laughs> Good job. This season of Wine OTV, we are traveling to different wine regions around the world. All hands on deck in Mindo. We're here in the Rocks District. West loves his papa. Papa! And I am trying with every ounce of my soul to get to the heart of every region. I feel my heart. Oh, it's racing. Oh my <laughs> yeah, God. Right. All right, let's Three, go. Two, one. <laughs> Do it. When I got into covering wine, that's when a whole new world opened up for me. Artrata. Al tartufo. Al tartufa. You do the talking, I'll do the listening. I actually learned about different worlds and cultures and foods and people through wine. But really, it's about bringing people together and connecting. I'm already thinking about where's that wine? <laughs> and I believe wine is the through line for all of that. Okay, a little wobbly. I haven't even had my wine yet. Are we going? Yeah, pick up your legs. Ah! Ah! My background's in television news. I got my first start in Pocatello, Idaho. I was the little Katie Couric of southeastern Idaho. Wine O, O H with an exclamation point like, oh, I drink too much. Oh, I I didn't know that. I started at the NBC affiliate in Fresno. Roses are red, but in the wine world, rosés are pretty and pink. I took my idea and I sold it to different outlets. It was these little places that were not getting the airtime that maybe Napa or Sonoma or these bigger regions were getting, and they were hungry to tell their stories. And there's stories like this all over the world. The Livermore Valley planted its first wine grapes in the 1760s. I started dating my boyfriend, who would then be my husband, and he he said to me, Monique, you cover wine for everyone else. Why don't you do it for yourself? Here with Cosette and Ron at the Hope Merrill House in the beautiful town of Geyserville. I got my first sponsor out of the gate, which Mark, whose background was in business, he was like, that never happens. I won an award straight away the first year. You're watching Wino TV in Puglia. I was on a 25 episode deal to shoot all throughout Europe. And the one thing we know about Prosecco Superiore, of course, and Prosecco in general, is the grape that we focus on is Glera. And I was in Italy when my husband, out of the blue, called me and he was home alone with our two and a half year old twins at the time. And they told him he had stage four cancer. And so, so I immediately stopped production, you know, when I came home to be with our family. And then we lost Mark in July 2019. And then COVID came after that. And so I sat in my house, you know, trying to figure out what mattered, what I could do. And when we, Mark got sick, my show felt so small. And when we lost Mark, we lost everything. I was so desperate for community. And, you know, I wanted my kids to be in school. And I needed to create structure because their father had died. And so my first thought was I need to get them back on track. And so I was so, focused on getting them to where they needed to be structurally. And then once I had them like sort of in a program where they could be at school, they could have their own little community, then I started thinking about my own self. And I, as I sat thinking about what I would do and where I would go next, this idea of how we come together really was resonating with me in a way that it didn't resonate with me before. And so I thought, wow, if I can bring my show back this year, it will matter because I wanted to bring people together in this way. I wanted to show the power of community. I wanted to show how we come together as a society. What separates us from the animals is the simple act of having a meal, sharing a meal communally around a table, opening up a bottle of wine and sharing it with someone. Whoop it! <laughs> Whoa. I'm Monique Sultani, and I want you to join me on my journey with the purpose of bringing people together by breaking bon bread, appetit. opening a bottle, and connecting through culture. This is Wine O TV. Yeah.